The Trooper by Iron Maiden is a song I'm talking you through in this drum tutorial. Before I crack on with this video though, if you could like and subscribe, that would help me out tremendously. And if you also want to help support the channel, I'll leave a link in the description below. So I am going to go through the intro because these kind of tom breaks that we've got to happen pretty much throughout this track. And I'm most definitely going to go through the main kind of groove, the main drum riff in this track. I'm going to play these sections up to speed first of all, and then we'll break them down super slow. So have a listen to the intro. First of all, it goes like this. So we've got this flam on the very first bar. Flam is where you play both hands together, one hand slightly in front of the other. It doesn't matter what hand you go with first, whether it's the right hand or the left hand. Play around a bit to whatever suits you. The second bar, we're going snare, tom, 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 kick, crash and kick. Now, it doesn't matter really what toms you play this on. Nico McBrain's got like a million toms that just look and sound great when he plays. Standard setup, you've got three toms. I've got four here, but three toms. So for that first little bit, flam on the snare, two on the high tom, right, left, right on the floor tom, kick. We've got these 16th note triplets. Tom, 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 kick. Diddle-a-dum, okay. Flam, tom, 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 kick. Flam, tom, 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 kick. And then as soon as we've got that kick, we've then got kick and crash on the and of bar four. And that and of uh, beat four is pretty much kind of, it echoes throughout this track. It is, it, everything is kind of phrased around that crash on the and of beat four. But let's just look at that second bar again. So we've got rest for two beats. It goes one, two, flam, Tom, 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 kick, kick and crash. One, two, flam, tom, tom, kick, crash. I can't even say it that quick, okay? Let's just do that bar again. You've got two beats rest. It goes one, two, flam, tom, 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 kick, crash. One, two, snare, tom, 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 kick, crash. Then we've got a whole bar's rest. We've got nothing for a whole bar. And then we've got the same bar again. One, two, snare, tom, 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 kick, crash. Then a whole rest for a bar. Then we've got it one more time. One, two, snare, tom, 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 kick, crash. And then we've got this big rundown. I've literally done it between the high, medium, and floor tom. Um, it doesn't matter as long as you get the rhythm, you can play this on any drums. Like I say, it's got a million toms that he runs down. Most people don't have that. So this bar two of line two goes one and two and three and four and a. Uh, one and two and a uh, three and four. Right, left, right, got them 16th note triplets again. Bar three goes one and two, three and four and. Okay, I will do this and link this all together. The very last bar, it goes of, of line two. One and two, three and four. We're kind of kicking into the groove a little bit here. And then the very third line down, the last line goes one and two, three, four, and okay and then we've got the main groove which i will talk about in just a moment so let's go from the very top real slow here we go one two three and four and one two three four second bar one two three tom 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 kick Crash, whole bars rest, two, three, 
four, after two, one, two, snare, tom, 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 kick, crash, whole bars, rest, two, three, four, line two, one, two, three, tom, 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 kick, crash, one, and two, e, and a three, and four, and one, and two, and a three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, one, and two, three, four, and, and then we're into the groove. When we do get to the groove, you may notice that we are playing on the ride cymbal, in fact, the bell of the ride. Um, but let's just talk about the main groove. It's two bars that basically repeat themselves. I'll demo this first of all, and then we'll break it down. Have a listen to the groove. Goes like this. Okay, so we are playing on the bell of the ride. We are going one and two, three and four. So no kick on beat one. I mentioned earlier in the intro that we push this and of the four in quite a lot of these bars or every other bar. And this is why we don't play the kick on beat one because it's kind of carried over from that crash on the previous bar. Let's do that bar again. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four. Four, and again, here we go, two, three, four, one, and two, three, and four. You may find it a little bit tricky because we're so used to playing beat one, right hand and kick is, it does feel a little bit weird when you take that away. The second bar of the groove, one, and two, three, and four, and on that crash, and there's the push that we hear throughout this track. Second bar again, three and four, and one and two, right, right, left, right. Let's link the two bars together. Three and four, and one and two, three and four. Second bar, one and two, three, and four, and beginning, one, and two, three, and four, second bar, one, and two, right, right, left, crash, one, beginning, and two, three, and four, last bar, one, and two, three, and four, and, and once you get used to this, you, and like you've heard the song a million times, you'll hear the intro that I talked about, them triplets, around, them tom kind of feels. You can incorporate that, and Nick and Brain does incorporate that around this groove. So every bar, it, it changes throughout this piece. You've got a million bars, and it, just this tutorial would go on forever if I did every single bar. As long as you've got that kind of intro with them tom feels, that just happens pretty much on and off throughout the track and you've got the main groove, and then you can kind of play around with this. Um, as Nico McBrain does, when you, you see and, and watch this song played live, um, he does mix it up, um, but it is all based on what we have talked about and done in this tutorial. So it's a great track to play. Let me know how you've got on, um, and yeah, let me know what you're listening to. Let me know what you possibly want to see and hear on this channel next time. Until then, thanks for watching.